New information into last Friday night's shooting that sent an 11 year old boy to the hospital with a gunshot wound to his head. Neighbors tell News for Jax it happened inside a second floor apartment at the Oak Hammock apartment complex in Arlington. News for Jax reporter Eric Avigny is joining us tonight after reviewing the newly released police report. Eric, you also spoke with neighbors to get a better understanding about what happened. Yes, I did. In fact, the neighbor I spoke with agreed to an audio only recorded interview as long as she was not identified. She tells me that when she ran to the apartment to uh, check on the boy who was uh, shot, she says one of his siblings, uh, uh, some of her, some of his siblings told her that four teenage boys all dressed in black ran out of the apartment just moments after the shot was fired. It was inside the second floor apartment at the Oak Hammock apartment complex where neighbors say tragedy struck. One neighbor who asked not to be identified gives a detailed account of what she saw and heard. Well, there was one gunfire um, inside of the house. The 11 year old boy got shot in the head. The neighbor I spoke with says she ran to the apartment to help. She says there were several children inside the apartment believed to be the victim's siblings. She also says the victim's mom was in the apartment. And the mother came out the door, was screaming. She was terrified. Um, the other children that was in the house, they was terrified. One came out with a blanket, and his brother got shot in the head. According to this Jacksonville police incident report, the child was unresponsive and taken by ambulance to UF Health. The rest of the police report was heavily redacted, but the neighbor I spoke with says when she spoke to the victim's mom, she says she didn't know how the child got shot. But when she spoke with the victim's siblings, she says she was told other kids were also in the apartment who ran after the gun went off. They described uh, it was four boys dressed in black with a black book bag um, and they met teens that came out. While it's unclear if the shooting was accidental, police described the incident in the report as an aggravated battery, which by definition is intentional. I explained that to another neighbor who asked not to be identified. It's disturbing seeing as how I have a nephew that's nine years old and lives in the same building and he was a friend of his. It's very disturbing because it makes me fear for his safety. When I asked that neighbor how those teenage boys got into the apartment. She told me she didn't know, but she also said that same night uh, she overheard uh, heard, uh, the, the boy's mom, uh, or shall I say the victim's mom, telling police that she warned her children, or other, which were the siblings, about uh, letting other people into the apartment. Reporting live, Eric Avignier, Channel 4, The Local Station.